Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to video five in my Hollybro Kakute F7 Freestyle Quad Build. We've come a long way in the last four videos. I'm going to go ahead and splash up a screen here that uh, has the titles to uh, everything that we've done so far. We're probably a good bit better in three quarters of the way through. All right, so here we are at video five. Primary focus of video five is getting everything set up in beta flight, but we're going to go beyond that. We're going to do a bunch more stuff in OpenTX, set us up with a flight mode switch, an arm switch, a buzzer switch, and uh, get all those switches talking to us. All right, just one last thing that I want to say before we get started is the same thing that I've said in all the other videos. This is not intended to be a how-to video. This is my first F7 build, so it's really just my way of taking you along for the ride, as opposed to trying to articulate to you every single step that is necessary along the way. You will notice that I go fast at times through this video series, and that is the reason. Not supposed to be a how-to video. I actually have a whole nother series where I go through some of these beginner steps at a nauseatingly slow pace. I will include a link to that playlist in the description. So if you feel like I'm going a little too fast for you in this video series, you can check out the other one. This video series assumes that you have at least a fundamental knowledge of a beta flight and OpenTX. Let's get going. All right, so what I did was I just plugged my flight controller into beta flight and I'm on the very first tab here which is the setup tab first thing I want to do is uh, make sure that when I move my quad like I'm gonna nose up notice how the pictures not doing what I want it to do okay it's backwards so what I want to do is I'm gonna come over here to calibrate accelerometer and I'm gonna click on it and then I'm just gonna reset the z-axis like that and now when I nose up, there's my nose up and pitch and yaw and roll. All right, so I just want to make sure that the picture is doing exactly what my quad is doing in real life. That way I know I'm getting off to a good starting point. All right, we are over here in beta flight. And I'm going to go ahead and plug Betaflight into our quad. And if you look all the way down here, it says the firmware is Betaflight 4.2.2. We can actually update the firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. And then I'm going to come back up to update firmware and click on it and right here it's giving us a recommendation of 4.2.4 so I'm going to come down to load firmware from online and there it is and go ahead and flash the firmware now if this if you try to do this and it doesn't go as smoothly for you as it's doing for me right now, that is because you're going to need a number of things. I have a detailed video on everything that you need to install Betaflight and all of the drivers to make this thing work right. I will leave a link to that video in the description below. But that's what happens when everything is set up correctly. And if you're curious to know what I'm talking about, if I go back to the welcome screen, it's this stuff right here, these drivers. All of this stuff is critical uh, for making things work as seamlessly as they just did. So now when I go back and I connect, and as you can see, here we are. And down here it is 4.2.4. Okay, so moving on from the setup page, I'm going to go ahead and go to ports. And on this page, if you remember when we wired everything up, uh, we put the smart port on four and we put the S bus on six. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save and reboot. And there's more that we're going to have to do on that page, but we'll go ahead and finish that up later. And let's just go ahead and make sure that it took. And it did. Smart port on four, S bus on six. All right, so then we can move on to the configuration page. Uh, we'll be able to get uh, DSHOT 600 on these ESCs, 8 and 8. And moving on down, go ahead and change this from PPM to SBUS, and then specify SBUS, like so. 
those are all checked normally. I went ahead and off camera I unchecked a whole bunch of them. Just did it off camera to save time. And save and reboot. Go back to that page. And another thing that I like to keep an eye on, check your CPU load. Make sure your CPU load is low. 2% is plenty low. So I'm good with that. All right, so I should be able to go on. I'm going to go ahead and turn my receiver on. I'm going to go ahead and plug in. And now when I go to receiver. All right, so on the receiver tab, if I go ahead and throttle up, throttle's working right. And if I yaw and yaw, that's working right. Pitch forward, pitch back, and roll. Everything is working good. I haven't set up any of my auxiliary things yet, um, but I can go ahead and do that. Okay, I have a strong preference for doing all my data entry in uh, OpenTX Companion so that I can do it faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take T1 and T4 and push them together and, and hit the power. And that will allow me to plug into the computer in USB mode. Two windows will pop up here. <laughs> there they are. There's one. There's two. Get those guys out of the way. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read models from the radio and bring them in. So this is a document one. I'm going to go ahead and save as. And I'm just going to kind of name it. This is for the F7 video. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on F7. And all right, so a couple things I want to add here on input five. I'm going to add an arm switch. And I like my SF to be my arm switch. I'm also going to add a flight mode. I like my flight mode to be SG. I'm going to add a buzzer. Make my buzzer SH, like so. All right, arm is SF. Light mode, SG. Buzzer. Disarmed. Arm motors. Angle mode. Horizon mode. Acro mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and write uh, right back to the radio so that all those changes will be on the radio. And I should be good to go. All right, so just that you can see the fruits of our labor, what I did was I set this switch way back here. It's a two position switch uh, arm disarm. So that one works. This is a three position switch for my flight modes. Horizon mode, acro mode, horizon mode, angle mode. And this is a two position switch for the buzzer. Buzzer, buzzer. All right. And then all of that data entry that we did, if we go to inputs, you can see we've got our arm, our flight mode, and our buzzer on inputs. And then we have them further defined on mixes so that everything is set up correctly now we should be able to go to beta flight and further set these up plug in our quad then we'll come down to receiver all right so now when i flip switches we should move some auxiliaries let's see here here's the buzzer buzzer is three all right flight mode is two and the arming switch is on aux one so i'm going to go to modes and i'm going to go ahead and add a range for arm and if i flip the switch Armed is over there, so I'll go like that. Disarmed. There's disarmed. Armed There's armed. And I'll hit save. So now it's armed. Okay, so that one's working good. And the next thing I want to do is uh, for angle mode. Let's see here. Which, which aux? All right, that was, all right, that was aux 2. Go back to modes. Angle, we're going to add a range. Oh, angle is down here. So, 
Here's angle mode. On aux two. And then horizon mode. We're gonna also make that at aux two. So that it's on the same switch. And acro mode is the default, so we don't actually need a line item for that. So there's acro. All right, and then the last thing that we did, had a buzzer, had a range, and I forgot which buzzer. buzzers buzzer. on, buzzers on aux three. So I'll move that over here so that it's buzzer. like so. It doesn't mean anything until you save it. All right, so flip the buzzer switch. Buzzer. Buzzer. Everything's good there. All right, we are ready to move on to the next step. I'm going to go ahead and go to motors. Okay, so at this time, I think we've come to a pretty good stopping point. So I'm going to wrap things up here for video five. In video six, we're going to continue things along. We are going to update the firmware on our ESCs using BL Heli. And then I don't know what's going to happen after that. I think we're pretty darn close to being able to... Um, could take this thing out for a maiden fly uh, appreciate you watching if you got benefit out of the video please like comment and subscribe and if you really got benefit out of the video and you really liked it do me a favor go out there tell somebody share on social media get the word out that I'm making videos about drones all right I appreciate you sticking with me here till the end I'm Steve signing off till the next video see ya